If you want to be successful, you have to understand one thing about wanting to become successful. It's hard. It's really, really hard. Go in understanding that. Most people go in with the wrong attitude. I'm going to just go do this. It's easy. No, it's hard. Expect challenges to come, setbacks to come, trials to come, hardship. It's hard. It's hard to be successful. But let me tell you something else, though. I've not been successful. And you know what? That's hard, too. And you know the thing about not being successful and the hard part of it is? You don't have options with that hard. You can't decide, okay, well, I'm going to take a vacation, give me a break. I'm going to go down here and I'm going to buy me an outfit, make me feel better. Or I'm going to eat at a different restaurant tonight because I'm tired of it. Being successful creates options for you. When you're not successful, it's hard. When you're successful, it's hard. So you have to make a conscious decision. Which one of these hards do I want? Do I want the hard with options or do I want the hard without options? Do I want the hard with some upside or do I want the hard that leads to nowhere? And that decision for me becomes quite simple. I'm gonna take the hard with some upside because success is really hard, man. It really is and, and it's daunting. That's why most people stop. Everybody has that moment where you have to decide, am I gonna go through or I'm gonna quit? The sad part about it is, the average person on the way to their dream quits. Before God, before God's package arrives. See, here's the deal. As soon as you ask God for something, if you're a person of faith, you his child, God loves you. If your children ask you for something, you try to find a way to make it happen. Well, God ain't got to try to find a way. He can just make it happen. You have no idea how many boxes you have stored up in heaven with your name on it because you lost faith.